tune in to me. What up with it, world? Welcome to the Connect. It's your boy Slim Thugger. Boss Life Rico. OG Shot. <laughs> Goddamn Sam. And we got the uh, boss, H Town boss. Carl Crawford, 1501 boss in the building, man, What's with up, us. Man? What's good with What's it, G? Up, What's up, y'all? Appreciate y'all for having me. Appreciate yeah. you coming Tell out, you. man. Yes, Finally got a seat at the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. So what's up with it, G? Like, basically, I say, should we just jump into it? Yeah, get right, right into it. it. Okay, so yeah. basically tell us, you know, for motherfuckers who don't know who you is, you know, uh, let them know about how you, uh, where you grew up, where you from. You know what I'm saying? All that there. I'm I'm from Houston, Texas, born and raised, Jeff Davis Hospital, you know. Um okay. going off the north side, February, Hardy Street. Ah. You know, played three sports my my whole life. Ended up getting drafted when I was about seventeen out of high school to go play baseball and she rest his fresh off heart. Rest out, right. rest, fresh fresh off heart. Fresh off How old was you when you first like you know took off over there? When I got drafted, I was seventeen years old. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Got that first yeah. bill, seventeen. That's so crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What's supposed to look like? Yeah. 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 What's the first thing yeah. you did when you got the first meal? Man, when I got that, when I got that bill, I went by my mama car in the house and by me a car. Yeah, uh -huh. so I went got. Two cars in the house. Yeah. Post yeah. it up, yeah. post it up, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's just wonderful feeling when you can do that. So, yeah. it's wonderful. Cool. Yeah. Did you always know it was going to be baseball? or it was? I mean, yeah, when they gave me that bread, I knew it was going to be baseball. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why why I'm high school, though. There wasn't no more other sports playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, I understand. And, you know, Very understand. We went, we went, put my all into it, and, you know, we, here we are now. But, Shit, man, you know, to actually go from being broke, I mean, literally broke, yeah. and like literally the next day, you know what I'm saying, you really can't really explain it, you know can't what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know, yeah. people might have get rich over time a little bit, right. but I mean, yeah. it was like literally in one day. You but know, you, you, you love sports, crazy. though. How huh? long was you playing a sport? I played, you sports, love sport. I played sports 20 years, you know, 15 yeah. in the major leagues, a, few, a couple years in the minor leagues. Um, Man, so you, it was oh, really you played good. in the game for twenty years. Yeah, you know I got yeah, drafted when I was seventeen. You know so what you, what you, long, my you really was doing something you love at the same time. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sports. I, you know what I'm saying? I played all three sports, so I knew that one of them I had to make it in one of them. You know athletic, yeah. true athlete. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So um, man, you know baseball was the one that took off with. It was surprising because people that know me probably thought I played football or basketball better. You right, know? but. Um, baseball was the one. And, what was the first team you went to? Um, first team I went to, I got drafted by Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay Double Rays. Yeah. I played that for nine years. Then I left to go to Boston for a year. Then I got traded to the Dodgers, and I finished my career in L.A. So mm -hmm. you know, it was it was a nice run for me. Yeah. And now I'm in the music business. And uh -huh. How you like that, boys? You know. Yeah. Hold up, hold up, that's too. We're going too fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The baseball shit, more like. Got a fire to burn. Yeah, fire to burn. We want to know your strength. Yeah, like baseball. Now it's it's more about just real life, like how that shit, how how baseball is, like as a rapper. When I was 17 years old, I started rapping. So I kind of got removed from, you know what I'm saying? Like I was still in the hood because I was still every day, you know, I'm out here. Right. But when you play baseball, you basically playing baseball every single motherfucking day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, how how hard is that? Like, how do you, like, because I feel like this how I feel, okay? I'm a, I'm a nigga who I always, when the family at on the weekends gathering, I was gone doing shows. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I feel like disconnected. Like I'm not as connected to everybody as it, you know, as the family is because they kicked it every weekend. I see what you're saying. But I was gone. I was working. You know what I'm saying? So it's like how was that for you? How is that in baseball? Baseball is the you summer. gone. That's just so, so yeah, many games. You never had this summer. Summer. I, and you know because you came out 1999. <laughs> right. We all came out same year. So yeah. I think it was like a pool party or something that was going on. It happened yeah. like when school was out or something that right. summer. Man, I I thought I was gonna get to this party, man, so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I had everybody there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where it was. I think it was on Antoine or somewhere. <clears throat> I had to hear about the car. I remember being on the phone, one of my team, you know, telling them, yeah, I'm gonna be at that bitch. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And like my one of my teammates was listening. He was like, bro, you ain't going nowhere. He said, yeah. Yeah, you ain't going you home. To, it was just June. He said, bro, you ain't going home like. 
September sometime. Yeah. And I, I, I thought I was going to be gone for the weekend. So yeah. you got that check and it's straight to work. Yeah, straight to work, bro. And I ain't never get to come home. Been yeah. gone for 20 years. I'm talking about, like, come home, y'all see me them three months, man. We played the exactly. season. Nine months, then instructional ball and extras, all that other stuff. And it was just like... Damn, I ain't, I ain't that's what I'm saying. Like, like that shit. That's, that's a real. That's why I wanted to point out. I, I, that's a real dedication, especially yeah. in baseball, football. They ain't got that many games. You know what I'm saying? Basketball ain't got as many. And then if y'all go to the playoffs in that series, they that's been gone all the fucking time. <coughs> you know, playing baseball. Time. That's a long year playing. Baseball. 162 no games in the minor leagues. It was 150 games. That's you coming from? Fuck. You coming out playing, nigga? 30 games. Yeah, in high yeah. school, and and for me, half of them because I never came in the season on time because you know basketball had we got I couldn't go to baseball to basketball over. Yeah, okay. So all right, you know what I'm saying. So I, you you went from playing 20 games to playing 160 games, man. Quick, that got to be 150 in the minor league. Okay, but, you want to man? Play. It was just it was just your body ain't used to it. You know, you tired, you mentally tired. You have to have a lot of mental toughness. You in these strange places, cities you ain't never been Away before. From home. I'm talking about so you got to keep it on your own, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And it's tough because you know what I'm saying. That's what the that's the one thing that the hood prepared me for that minor leagues. Because when you get on, when you get in that minor leagues, man, it's like you just hook hit woods, you know, waffle houses and all yeah. that type of thing. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? You in the country, country type. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah, it's like you know everything ain't nothing good. And, and they do that by design, you know what I'm saying? And the, the minor leagues is designed to weed out the wheat. So yeah. that's that's the, so they don't want, so you can't even complain about it. You know, you don't like it at home. Yeah, you know yeah. yeah. Right. like a boot camp yeah. down there. Yeah. 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 Make it yeah. to the All right, on this, yeah. Yeah. since you said that, how is it being a black baseball player? With it being, you know what I'm saying? And just being a black baseball player, you you got to be three times as good as the white person. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we all know. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, being a black person playing baseball, we know we got to work hard. We got to work extra hard. I work competition and, you know what I'm saying, whoever else. I remember when you were saying in Boston, there was a lot of motherfuckers like saying racist shit. Like, when you, you know what I'm Everybody saying? Everybody know, man, Boston is like, that's that's a tough place, man. You know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> yeah, a tough yeah. place. And, you know, of course, they athletes don't say it because... You know, it's the media is so so bad up there. The right. media is so tough on you. So you always have to be careful what you say. But you know, you black going up there, you just you just know. You know what I'm saying? I had I we was in one of not yeah. the actual Boston, but the towns around it. You know around. what I'm saying? When the dude called me on Monday one time, he didn't know. He Damn. didn't realize that I knew what a Monday was. I really didn't know what a Monday was, but but I had just happened to be watching the show. And the dude, one of the mafia dudes said, yeah, we used to call them niggas Mondays, you know? The fuck is a Monday? Monday, yeah, man. Nah. Monday mean, you know, they call you Monday because everybody hate Mondays. That's what they say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, so the dude came up to me, he was like, you a fucking Monday. And I was like, man, I just heard this shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I just went off on the dude. You know, they ended up finding him. Nigga was like an ex-police officer or some shit. I don't know what he was, but it was up there. I, I ain't been back to Boston since I left. Well, and that, that got to be bad because you was on their team. Mm -hmm. They pick with people on their team. Right, right. Yeah. That got to be But you fun. know, they feel like I was old paid and weren't producing. I understand, but shit, you know. God damn. That shit crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like you you was on the field. Yeah. That's yeah. Different you got what you deserve. I'm saying it's different than being in yeah. the NFL when you got, you know, a you lot was, of black people in them. Uh, yeah, you know, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, you, people, like, you don't, you don't, like, you know. We used to find we used to play find a black man and uh, that's <laughs> <laughs> we sat up there with the I feel I said man I go to the pitches one time they pointing and they do I said man what y'all doing they wow. said man we playing find the black man <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's when great. I looked at them on the stadium I say shit you ain't yeah. lying yeah let me play yeah. going up there yeah. you you was coming fresh off a of World Series though uh, um, uh we now the year before we had went we had the year I, we went we lost in the first round in the playoffs. Right. But we had a good team, though. You know what I'm saying? And uh, shoot. But in Tampa Bay, you went to the World Series. Yeah, we did. 2008. Yeah. How was that experience? That was a fun experience because we went from last place to first place. And that's why you see, you know what I'm saying, me trying to build stuff all the time because, you know what I'm saying, I literally was on the team and we lost, we lost 100 games a year. You know what I'm saying? And shit, we went from, from left. 
from last what, to first. For what? I mean, did it change much? The team changed a lot? Or it was yeah, just, we got a new coach, Joe Man. you know, put that positive mm-hmm. thinking in our minds. It was just basically yeah, the same team, team, though? Mm-hmm. It was Damn. a young team, yeah. too. That so shows you that coach. They, they brought in a few little veterans. They sprinkled in a yeah. few veterans, but they they really just, uh, they really just uh, brought in nothing but youth. And shit, we was cheap all at that yeah. time. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Cheap, full of energy. Go, energy, just all like, go, yeah, go, go hustle. So hard. Yeah, we just mm-hmm. went out hustling everybody. Whole team stealing bases, even the catcher. Yeah. What position you play? Say what? What position you play? I played outfield. Anyway, yeah. Mostly left, you know what I'm saying? Feeling in the center sometimes, you know. But, um, anywhere, pretty much. I don't really fuck with sports that much, so that's about the only question I had. Nah, so, 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 so what, was your, what was your favorite favorite spot to play? Was it Tampa, L.A., or was it Boston? I know it ain't Boston. Man, I know L.A. L.A.? L.A. Yeah, that's short time. I'm from the 15 to 50,000 fans every night screaming and hollering. Yeah. Man, you hit a homer, you throw a thing out at the play. Like, it's just, it's just, like, they just, man. Yeah, did you get to enjoy it like that? that yeah, it was good. I ain't gonna lie. All that. Yeah, yeah, like just, it ain't cool, man. It's just expensive to live, you know. See, if I went from Texas, then I'd probably live there, but I just know the secret you we know got here. Yeah, I know, know. I can live here. Exactly. And I'm saying, I see yeah, down when I no see it. Yeah. yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's how I so, be feeling about the LA. It's like, man, I, I get it, but it's like, yeah, shit, y'all don't know. We'll get all we that. We came right there to see you play. You look like yeah. you was. Yeah, yeah. It was cool. Like, I yeah. fit in out there. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was cool to look culture and everything, but, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, <laughs> shit, I'm, I still got 19. 99 in my on my inside, so I'm still trying to get back to the highs, man. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's why we at. You gonna take us down anyway? But I still gotta get but you, back to you the highs. some good shit. You with the M ball and all of that? Yeah, you, no, you, I get yeah, all yeah. It, you know, like I said, it give you act, man. When you a Dodger, man, you get that's that's a good life out there. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, you up there with the Lakers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they yeah. they just treat everybody. They give you yeah. that 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 Dodger treatment right there. You know, then you got the Mexicans out there. They so Crunk out in left field. That's serious, bro. They go on the road. They west side and all in the other team place. Squabbling. I see the girls squabbling. I'm talking about they all deep. I'm so, you know, I'm standing in the outfit. I'm trying to look. I'm doing it. Yeah. I'm seeing it brewing. I said, man, they, they bring this shit on the road. They for real. Down. But, you know, the men say it's not hard fans. Shit, man. We got some, one of them, like, got killed. In L.A., yeah. you heard about that? And then we came right. back that week. Yeah. Today, we there. They come from San Francisco, ride with Giants, man. Another day, they just come kill a, kill a Giants. No, Damn. Uh, L.A. They Georgia, smoke man. them. Yeah. They stab them. Yeah. I was stabbing. Damn. Out, there, out in the stadium. Because in L.A., they beat up some dudes from the Giants. Man, they got to L.A. San Francisco just kicked them. When that? Yeah. yeah. It was just random people, too. That's crazy. Yeah. So how you transition from the baseball to music? Man, I transitioned because I already was thinking about it while I was playing, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And I knew somebody that can get me in without having to deal with a lot of the finesses. Yes. Even though finesses come, you know, even the closest ones are finesses, but that's another story. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was calling myself trying to avoid the finesses I was hearing about, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and call somebody that I knew because the music game really kind of hard to get into, especially when you're an athlete. They just, you know right. what I'm saying? They gonna yeah, let right. you do dumb shit all yeah. the time and yeah. just mm-hmm. you right. know get you red, which I understand because 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 we got the notion that we can do it while we're playing and doing. It. And you know, me just getting into this shit, saying that now nah, you're not gonna do nothing one foot in, one foot out over here. You know right. what I'm right. saying? Yeah, right. You got to be all in. Like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, hours. yeah, yeah. It's all day, bro. You ain't finna let no nigga run in and you playing. You got a whole schedule to fill. Nigga. Yeah. It, it ain't finna go right. So. Yeah. Shit, I just always knew that shit. I was gonna wait, you know. Is it is it what you expected? Man, it it, it, it it was it was better than what I expected. But then you know when oh, certain yeah. stuff happened, yeah, yeah. you like damn. So it's like I got a, mm-hmm. a taste of both worlds at one time. Oh, really? You see what I'm saying? I got I got it real real good, and I got it real real bad, and I right. got it all in one year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. how it comes to you though. Know, yeah. the, the the rap yeah. game is yeah. like the streets, man. It's yeah. really like. 
it's it's fucked up, like yeah. you know, and, and it's business though. A lot of people yeah, don't understand yeah, that, you know, and it's, it's important. Somebody to let you know to mm-hmm. tighten all your bolts and screws. Yeah. yeah, yeah, make a few adjustments, man. That's just it. get on top of it because you know, at the end of the day, shit, like he says, it's still gotta go it's like for the streets, you man. You know, it's yeah. the streets. It's, it's cutthroat. But then it ain't the streets too. Like you can't do street shits in in the, in the business either because people are kind of loud. It's a different. It's the streets. Yeah. The street, so it's it's like, just the, the cutthroat of it. The yeah, chaos, yeah, man. that's I, how it I is. come from structure yeah. and all that type of shit, man. Nah, you know, it ain't no teamwork just, in here, in this yeah, kid. You know what I mean? <laughs> so no, it's, no, no, it's, no. it's no loyalty what yeah, y'all yeah. telling us. It's, man, yeah. it, it can be a certain people you see in cases, but for what I see, man, it's just that. And, and I understand because once you get to that certain height, I, I had a feeling that baseball didn't even give me. Being in like the MMV, uh, M, what they MMA awards, right. where you yeah. back there with Lizzo, Queen Latifah, and all right. like, like that shit right there just had like I said, man, you know, baseball didn't ever even give me this feeling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I can understand when a person get that feeling, how they just want it all. You know, yeah. fuck right. that. You know what I'm saying? Right. But. You know, I was like, I just felt blessed to be in that position. So I'm always thinking about how I can spread it. You know what I'm saying? But shit, when it just get taken away from you like that, or almost, you like, damn. Like, it just like, like shit, it's like, like you broke up with a gal or something. That's you know rare though, too, though, yeah. for an athlete to even be successful in music. Like, that's, right. I haven't heard yes. nobody yeah. who went from, that's you know, Shaq. a real, yeah, Shaq, Shaq. Yeah, that's what as an artist. Right, but, you know, him to come from the music. Right. I ain't seen no Because the nigga had a different approach, man, you know what I'm saying? And y'all know this. I don't understand yeah. this for no reason at all. These niggas come and they want to get on the mic they self. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they want to rap. Give you they, two really, they, they really think yeah. they can rap. See, I knew. See, when Jay said, came and found I was in music, he said, oh, you going to be rapping? I said, oh, no, I ain't. Picking up no mics and nothing like that. <laughs> yeah. I say, man, I want to be an executive. You know what I'm saying? I, that's it. I just knew the road I wanted to be. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? So a lot of them, you know what I'm saying? Most athletes, when we get done, they want to, you still searching for that highlight like when you're going out on the field, on the court or something. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So you don't want to let that go. So I was ready to let that go. Because like, I know the trouble that it brings. But if you can handle it, it's good for you. But most of them, they want to still rap and then you waste all your money paying into it and then you're mad because you ain't get the results, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nobody want to see us rap, dog, at all. Yeah. So I really don't want to see a nigga do this, but if you can get away with it, if you do it right, you know what I'm saying, right. all that type of shit. You know? How was your mindset going into it? Because you had a line of artists first, you know what I'm saying? Man, I just, I just said I'm finna just Shit, hey man, I'm finna just sign as many artists as I can and hope that one of them go. Yeah. <laughs> one so, go. so did you like, like that? was your approach. Yeah, that was my approach. I stayed yeah. in look out of 10, man. I'm, hey, I'm just, I'm hoping for one. One of the shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Did you think that was going to be the one? Man, we didn't, you just didn't know. Yeah. You just honestly didn't know. Niggas could say, man, we knew that. But yeah. I'm sitting there telling you, I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? If I would have knew, I would have had shit taken care of better. But you didn't know. And then, and then what happened is it just goes so fast when it boom. You know when what I'm saying? When it go, like, it go fast. Explodes. So now yeah. you're trying to pick up the pieces and it's instead of exploding. You, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> shit. But you know, like I say, you know what I'm saying? We so work hard. learning on the go. Yeah, we learning on the go. That yeah. was different though. A lot of people don't don't get that type of that fast of a result. Happen like that, what you know happened, what man? You know what happened was I'm, I I had to speed that learning curve up. So you know, right. and we said, man, I moved T in with me in my house actually for a year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I made him. I said, listen, I don't got time to like like learn it at the regular pace. I need to speed it up. You know what I'm right. saying? So yeah. put him in the house with you, man. I made him. So as soon as he get up, we gotta talk to business. As soon as we go to bed, so we every day for like a year here in my house, we we gotta talk about some type of shit that's finna gain us inches and forward. And I think that's where it helped because yeah, right. you know what I'm saying. Most dudes just don't even really talk about it. they business like this. Year. And, you know me, I was like, I needed to get the info so I knew how to apply myself. Yeah, yeah. You know? And that's kind of kind of what happened. So that helped you out with when you yeah, when we brought him in. You know what I'm saying? When I brought him in, you know that was real helpful because you know I can just see, you know what I'm saying, meeting little people and stuff like that. So who skipped speaks? a lot of yeah, uh, yeah. legs in the road. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Touching that fire. Yeah. You know, you knew the right channels to go. So yeah. who was picking the artists? Was it you or you and Fast? Sure, so? you, I mean, I basically it was me and him. You know what I'm saying? Who was the but, first artist I picked? 
Man, I mean, who do we pick or who actually like the signed? the first artist that signed the 15 on one. Uh, thank you. Nah, first. who y'all pick? Fuck that. First, yeah. man. When I who got, y'all tried to sign that didn't sign? Man, when I tried, when I got here, I, I tried to sign every young hot nigga they said to go sign. <laughs> <laughs> For real, I ain't gonna lie. Everybody go line line line. Huh? Yeah, yeah. They said, hey man, go sign this dude. Yeah. I said, all right, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> And so I was tripping because I'm knowing what I'm getting ready to do as far as the money wise. And when they saying no, I'm just like, man, for real? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> man, yeah. 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 I done told like, niggas, man. I don't know. Yeah. He's a baby. Yeah. I, I don't go fuck with him because you're not going to go get that right. shit from them labels. Man, you I'm telling you. Uh, get that type of we knew we had to come in and spin it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't care what people right. were saying. I knew yeah. what we was doing. It was, I was like, man. You had your vision. But, yeah, right. you know what I'm your vision, you was going with a roster. Yeah, I was going with a roster. I was going with a roster. I was going with a whole label. You was becoming a label. Yeah. You were not no artist. Nah. 1501 certified. For sure. For sure. That's what it was. You was marching through. You know what I'm saying? But the the first dude I tried to sign, though, was... uh, Let me see who was first. Man, it was... was, Yeah, it was Ski Taste. No, yeah, I went after him first. Yeah, I went after him first, man. I was like, damn, when they, they was saying no and shit like that, I was just like, Shh. But, I mean, yeah. I tried to sign the ski tastes of the world, the album hunting tents of the world, the fast mm-hmm. lanes of the world, or, uh, who else? The Joe Lees of the world. Just, I mean, all of them, basically. Damn, shot. Damn, yeah. shot. Yeah. 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 You know, I ain't gonna lie. It probably would have worked. See, the yeah. thing is, what I look at it like is, I know how them labels is. Yeah. And if you ain't got a certain amount of numbers, that's how they basically gonna look at your yeah. numbers. If you ain't got them numbers, you ain't gonna be able to get that type of money that I feel like he would really have gave him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Put behind, put behind him. him. You know time. what I'm saying? Yeah. To make it work. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what happened was we signed. I mean, not weak time, but you know, Gotti started. You know, he started putting the two hundred thousand on the plane, signing niggas. You know, black youngster, money back. So yeah. now everybody saying Stakes is they up. want they this two hundred thousand yeah. like that. We need that money back, yo. And we like, man, that ain't where it's at. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you think right? that was just an illusion? <laughs> like, a lot of rap, a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, like you say, we don't know, but do yeah. you think, man? A lot of the 90% of the rap. All that stuff, yeah. But even the rappers yeah. by saying, oh, I want this. Like, nigga, is you really worth this? 200000 out the yeah. gate? That's why I say, because you can't go get that money man. without them numbers. You know what I'm saying? Man, yeah. I, I just I just knew I was genuinely ready to get behind whatever. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And uh, to get turned down. And then, so then, you know, okay, no disrespect to the roster we did have after that. That's what y'all see, you know what I'm saying? Cause now I'm just like, well, I'm getting to work, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't care who it is now. Now Let's I'm just making work. So look, 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 man, we try to go get all the dudes we supposed yeah. to get, man. We just gonna have to try to see what we can do with, you know what I'm saying? Let's build it. Like this is what we came in the business to do, you know what, mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So we taking the route thing, you know they might can rap, might not, but we just was, you know what I'm saying, working with it, yeah. and making, you know what I'm saying? Shit, that was part of our thing. We wanted kids, other races. And the girl, you know what I'm saying? Cardi B hadn't even took off at this moment yet. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? She wasn't even yeah. she wasn't even blew up yet. So we was already knowing that we was going to go get a girl rapper because I was seeing it. I just saw she put a tape out. You know, I saw she was the girl from When did she come along? Like in the Who Cardi B? Nah, uh Maybe. Maybe, yeah. She came along in like late 2017 when we started selling, you know what I'm saying? Somewhere around now. Let me see, cause we signed in early 2018. So yeah, it had to be something. How you find it? Shit, on the on the ground, live page. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I take live, man. You get free tickets whenever you want, man. I'm just happy to be strolling because I didn't even, you know, what I'm saying when I retired, you know, I was I had on Instagram and then, you know yeah, what I'm saying? So, right, dude. Like, man, what you think you finna do? How you think you finna be in the music game with no Instagram? You know what I'm saying? I was yeah. like, shit, I don't know, but I don't want that. Right. Yeah. He was like, uh, he was like, man, fuck all, fuck all that, man. He was under all, 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 Oh, like, Malaya posted. Yeah, Malaya posted. Damn, yeah. Malaya is the reason. Yeah, A&R. Malaya, you know that? Yeah. 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 She yeah. don't even know it either, man. You the reason yeah. making this thing go yeah. sign. She is. That's, she real. Real. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's, That's right. right. 
<laughs> that's so, crazy. So what was that's, the approach, though? That I, is I, so I, perfect, I, though. Because it's, yes. it's Malaya, you know what I'm saying? And, right. and it's hot girl, you know, it's, so it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful yeah. how that yeah. shit connected. Yeah. And played out. Yeah, how you reached out to it, though, to get her to sign? I told, I told, I told T to go, uh, he knew her, he knew the guy that was kind of managing them, I think that was Liddy. And I mean, he went and go find him and uh, he, he knew him already a little bit, so it was like they was looking for a spot, you know what I'm saying? He went and talked to them and we set up a meeting with her and her mama, you know what I'm saying? And we, uh, that's, uh, that's how it went in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How y'all knew it was about to blow? What was it that, uh? When did y'all know she was going to go? Yeah. Down? I mean, you know, she had the uh, the, st- the styling freestyle, so we knew that was already kind of the girls was already kind of singing that yeah. shit a little bit. Mm-hmm. But you know, we put the tape out, and uh, which which tape? Uh, Tina, Tina Snow. Snow. Yeah, we yeah. put Tina Snow, and you know, we started going to the shows, and they was all like, um, you know, the big old freak is kind of yeah, that big old freak is what yeah, 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 Tina yeah, Snow. Yeah. 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 So, you know, because we put cocky out first, you know, we had DJ me, and I know they can probably say I'm trying to take credit, but it's the truth. I don't give a damn. <laughs> you know we had an OJ Run C was there. We all had a meet, we all had a meeting to see who, what song we got, we like off the Team Snow album. Everybody said a different song. They was like, never. Uh, you know, if you notice, we went with Cocky was the first song we released by. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because they they everybody was like, Cocky, yeah, that's the first song we need to go with it. I was like, all right, yeah, it's jamming. They, but they was like, Carl, what song you think? I was like, shit, I think it should be Big Old Freak. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I say, the reason why is because, you know what I'm saying, everybody is a Big Old Freak. It's a universal song. It's going to connect yeah. with everybody. And it's a sample on it already. So it already done been mm-hmm. good. Yeah. So, but you know, I let the, I let the, I let the veterans, you know, you know I'm new, so I don't, you know, I don't, but I But that's all what it. not, because look who picked Big Old Frick. You know what I'm saying? So then what's look, your approach at the game now? Uh, my approach now is the same thing. We let, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we pick our little who we want, or what song we think might work, but at the end of the day, the fans gonna, gonna tell us they what song tell. it is, they you know what I'm saying? That's time. what they did, you know? It ain't like I still made them put it out. Right. And they was just getting a, <laughs> They was getting a strong response mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. from it. Yeah. That, that hot girl shit just spread. It was like, first crazy. it was a hot girl. Then it was dry out of the boat. Then it, it just spread and everybody yeah. latched She on. got like a little coat following you. Know right. Yeah. So whatever yeah. she do, they going to do it. They going to rock with it. That shit was crazy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's cool because, you know, it was a hot girl summer all year. <laughs> that's yeah. sweet, man. Mm-hmm. You know, they was acting up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> driving a boat right, every man. day. Driving a yeah, boat like a boat. Yeah. 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 So. Okay, so what's next for 1501? What you want to do next? 1501, man, we just, we got, we developing new young artists. D-Raw, Cam, Lisa, and, uh, and Rayleigh Rose. You know what I'm saying? We might sign a few more acts here. Looking for artists, fifteen oh one. You just seen him turn making the stallion into a superstar. Man, you know what man, I'm saying. You got the recipe, man. We just need somebody. You, what home. you looking for? You want to? You you, you 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 thinking about another girl or anything like we that? We just looking for the talent that's hungry. That's one who want to be a star. It don't matter. Just present yourself. You know? <laughs> What's the criteria? All that work. What what what? All what you looking for? Yeah, all that combined in one. You know, just really, really. I I do look for work at. The, you know what I'm saying? I just look yeah. for like. Just that special person that it, that oil when they walk in the room, all that type yeah. of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. all the little intangibles, you know. So, you so know. what's the since you you know you have been through the good and the bad? Like, what's your next approach to go through? You more hands on now? Well, or? yeah, I'm definitely more hands on now, and you know we have to get a few things straight behind the scenes. So I think yeah. get everybody back on the same page, let them understand that you know we gonna be in this contract for a little bit. So yeah. you don't need to. Think you finna get out of it because you know you're not, and um, it's business. Yeah, and that's all it is. And we just need to all work together to figure out how we gonna move forward because we we in this together. You know, what I'm bottom line. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> the bottom line. Yeah, man, for real. So, so basically, she still signed. But you know what? Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. You know, yeah. and that's you know, it's just a um, rock nation. You know what I'm saying? Every, I mean, it look good. It look better on. Um, it looked better on paper when you said to people, Rock Nation. So, right. do you right. want to speak on that? To like say your part on that, so people know your, you know what, uh, you know, cause just people are guessing yeah. about what happened or whatever. Like, yeah. You know so what you know, um, I mean, 
when you're doing business with people, you know, you understand that you might have to renegotiate your contract at some point in time. But um, what you don't uh, what you don't calculate is the person that's on side of you, um, you know, turning on you. You know what I'm saying? And when that happens, you know, all hell break loose. So for Megan, she just she just you know kind of young, I think, and not I don't know if she was thinking right or whatever. But when she went and got her lawyers. My lawyers came and threatened to sue me, you know what I'm saying? Take care, you know how they do, they try to come, threaten to sue you if you don't renegotiate and all that type of stuff. And, yeah. you know, basically, you know, come take everything, basically. Cause you know, they come in and normally a person can't defend themselves or fight back or something like that. And then you just end up giving it all, well, I don't even want to deal with it. So, but in this case, I had to like stand firm because I know what I did in the beginning. I had to show receipts, showing all the stuff that, you know, things that we've done in 1501 and mm -hmm. provide all that, you know, for the lawyers and all that type of stuff. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, right now we're in a position where we just kind of, we're trying to renegotiate the contract deal to where both sides, you know, yeah, both sides yeah. are comfortable and we get back to, we get back to work, you know, but that's pretty much it. They, they wanted, they, she went to Rock Nation, hoping that Rock Nation would get out of the deal with me. That didn't work and we was just back to business. Yeah. Man, I hope y'all figure it out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, we gotta figure it out. Yeah. So y'all can get some more out there. Y'all came in the game right. and y'all did a, a, a lot together fast. You right. know what I'm saying? And I'm sure, you know, you spent a lot of bread too. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like, you know, y'all need to figure it out. Y'all yeah, feel like. Yeah, that ain't even that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know. That's crazy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's coming from here. Yeah, this platform. Yeah. Like, that's big in itself. Right. Yeah. To lose. Yeah. Exactly. This brought it up. Cause yeah. it's like, we don't it's get like a lot of that type of yeah. big time exposure, yeah. man. This is some big shit. You know, that's what frustrated me most about it. That's what frustrated me, yeah. it. What frustrated yeah. me the most about it because yeah, like, I had all that in mind. This is what fifteen oh one was came here to design to do. It was designed to make it big like that, and then we bring everybody else through. You know what right. I'm saying? That's how we was looking at everything. We were like, man, we're gonna try to bring just anything. We want to be the pipeline. We want to keep on going and just do. What we need to do, but uh, you know, lawyers come in, man. They want it all, you know, and then they turn you against people. You know, man. This girl never had a problem. I never, I still don't understand why they was upset with me. I've never done nothing wrong to this girl. I've only told her yes all the time. Never told her no ever. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the lawyers come in aggressive and they. They wanna, they wanna just break you up for no reason. You know the old country and divide right. situation. Yeah. The country and divide. Yeah, it's yeah. always yeah. up like that with the. the yeah, the country and divide thing was real. It's real, man. And they'll use the <laughs> closest <laughs> people to you, my right. closest yeah. people to with you. Yeah, you know, and they don't care. And uh, but you know, like I said, that's why I had to end up calling Jay because you know he specialized in these type of situations. You know, and uh, getting things back on track. Because other than that, you know, people can say what they want. You know, it, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be nothing for we would be probably be having this conversation right now. Because you know, it would y'all would already see me in, in the court right now. You know what I'm saying? Right. Fighting for yeah. fighting for everything. Right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> yeah. But it's a better way to do this. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so like I said, man. You know, we trying to get back everything back on track now. You know, everything is starting to get back better. And uh, you know we're gonna move forward. Like I said, we we ain't gonna we ain't gonna let, let we ain't gonna let that little hump stop stop us from from moving and growing. Do y'all even speak? No, nah, we don't really talk. You know, we ain't we ain't in her ain't never really talk like that anyway though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But it was cool. We'll text each other from time to time, stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. It wasn't no big deal. But you know, um, nah, we don't we definitely don't talk right now. Yeah, y'all need to, y'all yeah. gonna figure that, man. Pray on that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it always, yeah. but you know why this being a dirty game like that? Yeah. It's gonna yeah. get dirty on her end. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Right, and so you can come back and say, hey, man, look, this was the difference. Everybody, cash yeah. money did it, you know what I'm saying? Right. And come yeah. back, hey, man, I fucked yeah. up, you know, hey, this was this what it was, yeah. and you can mend it back together. Because it, it, right, it, it was a, it was a <laughs> blessing, though, you gotta say, yeah. if it wasn't for yeah. you, who knows? She might not ever blew. It wasn't, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I just saying? feel like I, I'm on the outside looking in and it just looked like you spent a lot of money over there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Jumping the label out. 
you know, put so your all into at it. At the end of the day, it just, you know, even if y'all just squash the shit and figure out how to just be happy on both ends, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It'll be cool. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much, you know, how it how, yeah. how should be. That's what we're trying to do now. Yeah. We're trying to repair everything, but you know, yeah. you know, egos. <laughs> Hey, yeah. for two hundred thousand followers or six million dollars, six million followers. <laughs> That's a big difference. Yeah. You created a monster. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But you know, and y'all don't even have a mediator in between that could even. We 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 were supposed to have a mediator. In between. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm that was this stuff we shouldn't even been going through if that mediation part would have been going right. But you know. It's man, the, you know, it's that H Town shit, man. Loyalty is rap, man. You can't God, find it. Rap, that Loyalty. I think it's Loyalty. I just, well, it's I just think when you get up there, man, because I do like it, like even being on those stages with all them people, man, it, it's a different feeling. I can understand, man. It, may, it do something to you. Even like, like I say, like it's a different feeling from It's sports. another type of yeah, drug. Yeah, you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah. It is a drug. Yeah, you know it's saying? another type of drug. Yeah, mm -hmm. You can get caught up in it quick. And I just saw it happen fast, you know, it just happened real, real fast. We went from 20 people at the show to the shit y'all seeing now. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So, so what's the lesson you learned from this situation? Man, the lesson I learned is just take care of your business, you know what I'm saying? I always took care of my business. But for some reason, I came home and relaxed, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Meaning that I gave somebody yes, the, the job. power. Oh, I, you know, I gave care. somebody the power. That I thought was gonna be aggressive like me, you know what I'm saying? Right. But you know, they had different ideas and different agendas. Right. So at the end of the day, it's really my fault. And that's what people that I talk to, you know, they like, you know, if you took care of your business, we warned you, yeah. we told you about this type of stuff, but right, you didn't right. think it, but you don't think certain things will happen. So for me, my biggest lesson is to stay on top of everything. Like every, everything. Every, yeah. Yeah. Everything. Everything. Yeah. It's about anything going on. You yeah. Going going on, going especially when it's your going business. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. I don't be no, hey, man. It's, I'm it's a lot. Boy, nah. let this nigga handle it. No. Yeah. It's crazy. Even, how, even if they handle it, you got to be yeah. watching over it. It's crazy yeah. how money and fame can change motherfuckers, fool. I mean, yeah. and the thing is, the, the fame, that's what, <laughs> shit. Because, you know, the, the, the money ain't reached the fame, how the fame is it, but the fame is. But right. What you think her beef is though? What you think she feeling like? Uh, What's her problem with fifteen oh one? I don't know. That's the issue. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I ain't never talked to her. That's why I said I never knew what I did to her. I, don't, I still, right now, I don't know what I did to him. You right. know, other than yeah. the not making well, Hopefully, that ain't no big issue then. So she, y'all yeah. should be able to pick it up. Like some a bad end. bug in the ear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, man. Yeah. I feel like y'all can figure that shit out. Yeah, we gonna make it Cause work. it's too late. I mean, y'all yeah. motherfucker, that, that shit just was, yeah. you know, that shit went too crazy to, you know, for it to, it, for anything to go wrong now. You know what I'm saying? If yeah. I, I, I just want to see the shit work. High Girl Summer, that shit was like on everything. Just think about how big that Everybody shit was. Everybody was screaming for that Houston. shit. We don't really have it's shit like movie. that. Yeah, Travis Scott, you said. know what I'm saying? That was Travis big Scott, uh, all the time. Right, that shit crazy, man. So, well, yeah. we gonna get it right each time. Yeah, that shit right now. So, you know, you heard him say he looking yeah, for yeah. new artists. Yes, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's good to, to have somebody who will be willing to, you know, go over the extra hump to Make sure you make it, man. It's rare out here. You'll find somebody. Put it. Yeah. I ain't putting no money behind nobody like that. Let yeah. them know what, let them know what you got coming. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So everybody who be asking me to sign you, go, go, go to the closet. And we was at the party the night, and the nigga was trying to get us the CD. I said, man, you need to go to any of them. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
too solid to right. ride. Yeah. Usher Holly. Switch is like to do. Now you retired. Jury what? Yeah, yeah. like oh, what you oh, want to do? Right, right, right now, right. right now. Yeah, I go to work. I like to go, yeah. I like to, go to the gun range, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And uh, some stress. Yeah, you know, yeah. That's probably, yeah. Like, probably what I do. You still be working out and shit, or you like, fuck that shit? I'm going put a track in the yard, so I'm going to start getting up back running, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Pretty much, you know, I, I got my older son. He's finna be sixteen, so I'm gotta train this fool. I put a bang cage in the back, uh, you know. So okay. he, and he yeah. pretty good too. Huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. on Team USA. You know what yes, saying? sir. Yeah, he, he coming with, you know, he, he want to try to show me what he can so, do. Y'all over that breeding baseball right now. Yeah, y'all over that breeding right now. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Shit, we were there, but you know, I just take it, okay, at least I'm still picking the right one. Mm -hmm. right, 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 right. I just right. got it just to find me. I got to find somebody that want to stay home. Right, you know right. That's Shit, man. Bring it home. Home. Yeah. Like, man, I look at this. The, the, the rap culture here is like, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be like Texas, Texas, and them. You know what I'm saying? You know how they're going to be down. They gonna probably ain't going to be ranked for about seven or eight years. But you know at some point, they're going to they be number one in the country. Right. You know what I'm saying? Same thing. We get that right. yeah. 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 right. yeah. yeah. in Texas. We back right now. That's hot girl, Summer and Travis Scott. That's up. Max Lizzo. 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 Oh, hell yeah. We going to be back at the top, you know? So it's like, shit. Even our old rappers still killing it. You know what I'm saying? It's so shit. It's crazy, Shit, My thing was, man, I didn't want people to have to like keep saying, yeah, you got to go to Atlanta and move around, but man, who want to do it right here at the house? You know what I'm exactly. saying? Who don't yeah. feel like moving? And I know y'all exactly. don't like leaving, yeah. here, motherfuckers. I don't like leaving either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Let's, let's, yeah. let's do it here. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's real. Right. It can be done here yeah, too. That's what it need to yeah. be, yeah. just to, just for the standard. Yeah, you sure. can still go out to those spots. You know, week yeah. here, week there, get the vibe and come on back. Come but on all back. that moving for six months and shit, yeah. I can't do that. Not right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. Well, we sure appreciate you coming out. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate yeah, you coming out. Keep on going, man. You keep on swinging. Keep on going. Keep, 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 keep that music. Keep that music coming. Y'all get the meme of viewers going on. Come back in the back. When you get that hot out of you, bring them all back. Bring that nigga. I got a little chick that got some, bro. I don't know if she signed or not, but she got some. I'm gonna have to find that video. We up out of here, and there it is. Good one.